Hey everyone, welcome back to the Women Lounge. It's your girl Jan, if you don't know me by now. And we're here to continue Treasures, the second step, chapter two album. So we have three more songs to check out. I'm excited for this. We currently have Clap, we also have Thank You, and we have Hold It In. So this is a continuation, obviously. I checked out Volcano already, so if you haven't seen that reaction review yet, be sure to check that out. It's also in my channel. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the songs. All right, so just a friendly reminder before I actually start the video, I am a pauser. So if you're not into that, y'all can move on to the next reaction. I don't know, I don't care. Just, yeah, just leave it as be, okay? I'm a pauser, if you don't like it, y'all can move on. Um, another thing is a lot of these color-coded videos that I like to watch and react to, they're not 100% always translated to justice so just keep that in mind if it is incorrect don't worry i'll probably pick up on it you guys can also let me know in the comments if there is an actual right translation or correct you know way to interpret it so yeah just feel free to let me know so this first song that we're going to check out right now is clap which is composed by asahi and is also written by asahi with yoshi hyunsuk and haruto so i'm excited for this let's go a feel good track Oh yeah! Yes, Jungu. Oh! oh, I love it. Tajine. Oh, Asai. I love it. Wait! I was not prepared for the beauty of that wait 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 are you kidding me you know what i'm we're going back i just was not prepared for the reggae to just swoop in like that what by the way i'm loving it already so far i love a good lighthearted song Oh my god, Asahi. Yes. I'm loving it. Let's go, Jay. So young. Okay. Oh, I love this build up. Ah, I love it. Oh, cute. I love it. Oh, yes, I love it. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, I love his lyrics. I love it. What? 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 <laughs> it's already an earworm, guys. I love treasure. I love treasure. I love treasure. I love treasure so damn much. Stop it. Are you kidding me? I love you guys. Please, I just, I love that. I love it. Just come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Literally. Just bring it in. Like, what? Regardless of age or gen... The best boys. 
Chongquan's voice. Yes! Oh man! Oh, this is so fun. I can imagine this also at the concert. Like, what? With confetti everywhere? Like... <sighs> kidding me right now? This is so good. This was so good. Asahi, you, you are an amazing, an amazing artist. Are you kidding me? I am so happy. I'm literally so happy for Asahi. Like, deserved. I couldn't be any more proud. Like, literally for all of them right now. This, spectacular. This was such a lighthearted song. It talks about, like, even if you're, like, tired and feeling weary, just shake it off, clap it off, like, just dance it off, you know what I mean? Just try to make yourself feel good if you can, you know? I love it. I love it. Stand the best boys. All right, so we're going to get into the next one, which is Thank You. All right, so the next song that we're here to listen to is Thank You by our unit, Asahi and Haruto. I am so excited for this because we all know that these two closely work together, right? They share a studio together, and this doesn't surprise me that we got this right? Like the rest of like the producer line, they always have like their own studio and whatnot. And I'm sure they all work together, but we all personally know that Asahi and Haruto are literally always working together. Like they share the studio together. So I'm excited for this. I really am. Asahi has just been hitting it with all the great productions so far every, ever since the first step, right? And I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm literally so happy for Asahi and I'm really curious now to see how this goes. In the sampler, we had like the snippet of how Thank You sounds and I was saying it sounds like an anime OST, um, but we'll see. Maybe it's a whole completely different surprise. It is just a tease from that. So yeah, let's check it out. Here we go in three, two, one. <clears throat> Oh, totally. Anime. Anime. Love it. Wow, we get, we're getting more rock! I love it! Aww. Aww. Asahi? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now, Asahi? sorry we are gonna go back because i was just completely immersed in that and i mean that was probably the point but like what like the song is so sad like what asahi sir young sir what what is going on here what you're saying thank you literally thank you to the one that you you know love and even if it didn't work out, you, you, you're you thanking them? Like, sir, where where can I get your, your pure heart, you know? Your, your pure Virgo moon heart. I am so, please stop it right now. We don't deserve Asahi. Like, what? We don't deserve treasure, period. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm speechless. <laughs> wow, this is a great song. Just wow. Oh, God. Please, I'm inspired right now. Oh, my 
my god! Oh my heart! What? Ah, oh, I felt that. Stop it, Haruto. That hit different. Is that just me? Is that just me? The way Haruto like rapped, sang his his lines. Like what? No, that hit different. Is that just me? Am I tripping out? Like, something in that vocal tone. That was, like, real. Like, the emotion in that was real. This part. Here, here. The emotion in this. Hanto. God. I can't, guys! This is amazing! This better be bought for an anime. Like, please. Oh my god. Oh, I have goosebumps. No, I have goosebumps right now. I have chills. So this part was from the sampler. Oh, I have chills. I see the intention here. Because this entire song, right? The entire, or well, most of this song, it was much more in a major chord. Like, it was more of a positive chord, you know, progression. But here, they took it down in a slower, like, half beat slower tempo. And then they took the chord a little lower, and it kind of gives the reminiscent or the nostalgic tone or emotion. Wow, they're literal geniuses. They're literal geniuses. This is so good. I can't, I can't process right now. No, let's go back. Like, what the hell? Yeah, it's so positive in this one and then it pauses and they slow it down here and then it's like sad and reminiscent oh my goodness dude <laughs> And it's positive again! Oh! I hate my heart! Ooh! Oh! Asahi! You killed that! Oh my god! All right, so that was Asahi and Haruto's Thank You or Kumawo. Oh my god, guys. I can't even imagine how good it would sound like in the Japanese version because, duh, they're Japanese, right? So can you imagine them actually writing in their mother tongue? Like, bro, it's already amazing in Korean. Like, I can't even imagine how it would be in Japanese. Like, please. And any anime out there, y'all... Y'all need to snatch this song for your anime because that's your loss. But, dude, I, again, I love this song. It's so heartfelt. Literally, I felt some real emotion in this one. Like, that's some genuine raw emotion I was feeling in Asahi and Haruto performing it. Just, wow. And I love how even without a music video, this was so easy to imagine some kind of music video in my head. Of course... You can see me, I was pretty much buffering. I was literally just immersed into the song and I could, was like, sincerely inspired. Like, 
for those that follow me, I'm actually an animator and I really want to animate something for like particularly just this song. Like it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I love it. So yeah. All right. So next song or last song we have Hold It In or Mudotun Da. Um, this song is written and composed by Che Yun Suk. Um, this is the one I'm actually most curious about because Hyun Suk's pretty much a wild card. And I said this before, like if you follow me on Twitter, I said it before. I've also said it on my live streams and whatnot. I even said it in the sampler reaction, but um, Hyun Suk is a wild card because we all know that Hyun Suk has a very wide range of interests, you know, musically. So I was really curious to see what Hold It In or Mutonda really is about or like the sound of it. Um, from what was described in the article, it's supposedly R&B or it has R&B elements in it. So yeah, I'm excited. Now, I did talk about what Mutonda could mean. Um, here it's translated as Hold It In, but in other contexts, it could also mean like to keep it away or to bury it, you know, to keep it or to suppress it, like in an emotional context. Like if you're holding in your feelings, if you're burying and you're keeping your feelings or keeping it within yourself kind of thing. So I'm going to assume this is a sad song. So let's go. Here we go. In three, two, one. And we start with a piano because why not? Of course. Ah, <sighs> you, you kill me. You kill me. Let's let's hear the beauty. I'm excited for Hansa. Oh, I have chills already. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I You guys know I love my R&B. R&B is my favorite genre ever and that's literally all I could If I could have R&B all the time from Treasure, I'd be so happy, but Whoo, Chongu, you came in and you just kind of slapped me a little bit, but okay. Okay. Like, piano. And then you get Chongu's voice come in. Like, sir, young sir. Woo, chills. Oh, my heart. There we go. Hide your emotions. Oh, Oh, God. No, that contrast. Haruto. No, 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 that contrast, guys. You can't hit me like that. You can't, you can't give me Junkyu and then slide it into Haruto like that. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Are you kidding? You can't do that to me. You gotta, you gotta warn your girl. Oh, Jay. <gasps> oh god, literally the voice contrast. Uh, oh my heart. Mr. Ya. Haruto. Oh, here we go. There it is. From the sampler. Oh my god, she's from your voice. Zhong Han, you better! Oh my god, I love this one! line from Asahi. Boya? Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. Oh my. No. What? The heart you gave me. I'm afraid I'll go to so what? What? 
No, 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 Was that Junkyu? It sounded like Doyang for a moment. I feel like that's Doyang. Maybe that was incorrect, or maybe I'm incorrect. I don't know. I'm a, I'm very sorry. It just didn't sound like Junkyu to me. That sounded like Doyang. I don't know. You tell me. That sounded like Doyang. Dude, that's Junkyu. Oh, they go back and forth. Jihoon. Okay, Adlib. No, that one was really good. What? No, that was really, really good. Oh, wow. Hyunsuk. Hyunsuk, you did amazing. Just, what? I literally stand. Just so much talent. You know what? I really like this one. I'm going to listen to this one more, and I'm just going to go through it. I'm not going to pause this time. I really want to hear the full fluidity of Hold It In, because... This one's really good. This one's, I love this one a lot. I do love holding in. There's something so bittersweet of this song. Is that just me? It's kind of eerie and ironic with the situation right now. Like, I don't want to go there, but... If you know what I'm thinking, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, 
Getting a little emotional. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Can I? <sighs> Sorry, there was this literally this one short line that Hyun Suk said, kind of like an ad lib, and that one hit different. I, I don't know where it comes from. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Kia komnun kidarim. Kia komnun kidarim. Yeah. Waiting without a promise. Waiting even if it's not guaranteed. I don't want to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to stop myself right there. But that line, that hit some, something else in a different way. Like, All right. Guys, okay, that was that was it for Hold It In. And like I said, throughout the the review or listening through it, like Hold It In is very bittersweet. Like I mean, Thank You was also very bittersweet, but there was something much more I guess forward about Thank You. Like, yes, I am telling you that I'm thankful for you and I'm going to let you move forward, like move on without me kind of thing and I'm going to wish you well. Here Hold it in, it's like, I'm telling you, I'm wishing you well, but deep down it still hurts kind of feeling. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, I'm holding in my feelings, right? It's like, I'm suppressing it. I'm just gonna hold it in until maybe, just maybe you come back or maybe you acknowledge that you're back or you're going to come back, right? But somehow it's not guaranteed, you know? Whereas with, with thank you it has like a similar message but that one is like intentionally accepting that the person that they're singing to is already moved on and like that that relationship is just completely done and forward right it's just close it's closure here it's like it kind of gave off a reminiscent kind of vibe where it's like i'm gonna hold in my feelings and you know just not really express that I am like hurting or I am sad and uh, like discouraged kind of thing about what the situation is in the relationship or in this like connection kind of thing but I'm still gonna wish you well you know I'm still gonna wish you off and just say you know you know move on or do what you need to do be happy kind of thing where I'll be here and try to be happy and I'm just gonna hold in like my inner deepest feelings instead you know so the, here ha doesn't have a closure not so much as thank you did so this one hits pretty hard in many ways than than one um yeah i don't know it's just i love it though because it's just very relatable actually all of these songs are very relatable you know i i love it but to end this on a good note this is another no skip album for me from treasure um i didn't you know, I, I pretty much just has always had faith in Treasure, especially them in their artistry and what they can create and whatnot. And again, they did not disappoint, at least in my book. So I loved it. My I, honestly, I can't even pick a favorite from this song. And I said the same thing 
from chapter one of the second step but this one genuinely it's really impossible to choose if you were to choose a favorite song on this album it definitely is much more about preference because every single song here is really different from each other like they really experimented in this album like they blend in, in a lot of different genres because we got like hip-hop and we had the rock then we also had a little bit of pop and reggae in it. We also have our like our dance and like EDM, you know, festival type of song from Hello. And of course, we have like an acoustic pop and and a, like somewhat a ballad. And it's just it's just amazing. We even have like you know low key. We have J Rock in this too. So I don't know. It's just treasure. I feel like in this album, okay, in this album, ever since like a debut, right? We have been seeing treasure grow and you know from the very beginning of course we will get the you know the musical support from the in-house producers helping them and giving them the right tools to create you know their albums and whatnot but the further we go into their career and the further we get more stuff from them you are essentially seeing treasure really go into their actual identity that makes sense because this one in my opinion treasure you know has I don't know there's something much more real about this one you can really feel like identity in here not like just saying oh we should do this it's rather more of just saying like we should do this because we like this kind of sound we like like these genres we feel comfortable in performing it you know it's something that is really true to us it's not manufactured in a way just you know for for safekeeping in a sense so yeah i don't know for me this album i feel like the further we go into their career and as time passes we just keep seeing treasure just grow as artists so this is just you know freaking chapter two like can, can you even imagine how chapter three is going to be like what I'm excited and literally all of these new songs I'm so ecstatic to see live performances like they have an upcoming concert really soon so I'm so excited to see how they're gonna perform this live so yeah just loved it I'm so thankful for treasure seriously so thankful for treasure for working so hard they are just doing it they're killing it you know I know a lot of people or a lot of, you know, their fans just really want the best for Treasure and I am part of that, you know, population too. I really do just want Treasure to be happy and be able to express, you know, and release whatever art that they have for us, but I really hope that they're not pressured by it because you can tell, like, from all the time accumulated, you hear the quality in their music, right? You really do hear the quality in their music. And that's essentially just what I want from them. I want them to be satisfied with whatever they share to us. Yes, I would love them to, you know, get wins. You know, a majority would love them to get a win. I'm part of that too. But for me, I'm more essentially in the fact that I really just want them to be content, you know, with the quality of their art. Right? I'm an artist too. A lot of people know me as an animator and graphic designer and though it's not music production, we do have similar motives or similar intentions when it comes to creating content or to create something, right? An art. And so my main objective as an artist is to make sure I'm always able to provide something that I'm still able to be proud of. Not for other people, but for myself first. Yes, I would love to have my audience be moved by my work, but I cannot do that until I'm satisfied with it, right? So I essentially just want that for treasure. If they are creating their own music, then I essentially just want them to be very content with what they put out before they just feel pressured to rush it out, you know? That's what I want for them. And I feel like when that happens and when that personally aligns, I feel like wins are just gonna be natural it's just gonna kind of fall in their lap but that's another story to talk about so anyways let me know what your thoughts are in the comments i want to know what your favorite song is from this album i personally love it a lot but let me know what your favorites are anyways if you like this reaction let me know by leaving me a like if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do so and don't forget to press that notification bell to stay updated with me for any time i post my name is jan by the way and i want to thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video bye